Hey guys, it's Amarine and I'm here for the FTM team. Uh, this week we're ta or covering uh, Gadar uh, and coming out or talking about slash relationship with your partner's parents. Uh, yeah, so I actually think I'm going to be able to relate these topics uh, and not in a really obscure way, so I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, first, before I start, a little PSA. Um, <laughs> I just want to say to all you guys out there who uh, do not have, um, who have not had chest surgery, or who I guess who bind, um, who will not be able to stop in the near future, um, to be very careful about binding. Uh, I have had increasing chest pains um, uh, repeatedly for about a month and a half, no, 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 like three months now, um, on one particular rib. Um, and I know exactly where it is. I know there's a small fracture there. And on, um, and then, uh, on one side, on several ribs towards the center. Um, and it's not because I didn't pick out the right size binder. It's not because, um, if anything, my binder's actually slightly too big for me because I have a ridiculous chest size, um, uh, rib cage wise. It's because I wear it all the time. I don't wear it to bed, because um, that's ridiculously dangerous. Do not do that. Um, I have a lot of dysphoria when I sleep, and I know that it's very unhealthy for me to wear it and not wear or to wear it in bed so I don't do that um, but I I don't sleep a lot so I wear it you know definitely over 12 hours I think the maximum is like 10 hours a day I wear it way over 12 usually I wear it you know over 16 hours a day I know that's why I'm having problems and honestly am I gonna stop doing that um, I'm gonna try to stop wearing it as often when I'm at home and I'm not going out I try to not wear it and I know it's really hard but um you know, if you're just starting out, like, it does happen. It's not just people saying it could happen. Like, it really does, and it hurts, and it's not good, because then you have fractures in your ribs. Okay, so I'm done being your dad now, and, um, what I was going to say was that I do have what I call queer dar, and by queer, I mean covering the LGBTQIA, etc., P, uh, whatever, spectrum, um, and I know that not all those people, people that identify as those things, don't always identify as queer. I'm not saying they should, I'm saying for purposes of not saying that huge acronym and leaving people out, I'm just gonna call it QUEERDAR. And I had battery problems again, so, um, yeah, I'm back inside, because by the time the battery had charged, the sun had set. Um, yeah, so I definitely do have it, because <laughs> I can, um, well, you know, get to know somebody or look at someone. Um, and I, so far, have been able to tell if they are, um, they fall under that an acronym, and so far, um, how they identify, or how they will identify in the near future. Um, and I don't, I mean, the issue, <laughs> it's not my business, um, and I think just in trying to find kind of people to be in a community with, it can be a really useful sort of skill but um it's not you know something that has ever mattered to me and I never you know I'm never sure that I'm right and it never really affects my perception of the person um typically so yeah um so secondly uh, is the topic of your partner's parents which is an interesting topic for me and I could cover this in a 15 minute video or maybe two so I'm gonna try to make this pretty short um pretty much. We've been together for two and a half years, and she came out to her mom within a few months of us starting to go out, um, at which time people identified me as female, and I, at that point, wasn't correcting them, um, you know, for the most part. So, um, she told her mother that, you know, she's in a relationship with me, and her mother thought I was a girl. And uh, she told her father um, sh nine months after we'd been going out, roughly, like nine months into it. Um, and she was incredibly, incredibly strong and brave and everything because her parents, she knew that her, uh, much of her family, including her parents, would not be very supportive, and they weren't. Um, and I under, we, no, we, mostly her, um, endured a lot of really negative comments uh, and a lot of a lot of just kind of, I mean, just hate, like hate, and I, um, I hadn't I quite understood the meaning of hate before that happened because, um, I had never really seen, I'd seen people be really angry and really, really mad at each other and really dislike people, but I had never seen somebody hate someone before, um, the way 
at least one of those people hated me. Um, and it, and I, it didn't take it personally because it was not my personality. I actually got along really well with both of her parents, especially her father, actually, who was the most upset um, in the past, when before they realized we were going out. I got along really well with them, um, and for the most part, they're nice people, and uh, I think, you know, they actually... They both know other uh, queer, they both know gay people, um, and are willing to talk to and interact with them. Um, so that was really difficult, and... Uh, you know, I kind of, afterwards, I felt a little bit bad that, you know, part of the reason that I kind of, I had some, not guilt, but I just was worried, or, you know, felt upset that I had not really come out, I hadn't made a bigger point of doing, you know, of talking to people or trying to find resources before, um, I mean, I had tried and it just hadn't really worked out. Um, but I felt bad partially because I thought, well, if I had been able to come out to them as her boyfriend, if I had just been a boy, then there wouldn't have been as big of a problem, or there wouldn't have been a problem, and we wouldn't have had to go through that. Um, I think we both, I can't speak for her, um, I think we both learned a lot from that experience, but it was difficult, and, um, you know, I'd just rather not have put her especially through that. Um, you know, again, she was incredible through the whole thing, probably better than I was, but, uh, yeah, so then, uh, <laughs> And then I also had a little bit of guilt. I've heard some people say, or accuse trans people of not wanting to deal, straight trans people of not wanting to deal with being heterosexual, or, I'm sorry, homosexual. I don't identify as a straight male, um, but I, uh, you know, have a relationship with my girlfriend, and it's... <sighs> I was also a little bit worried that after all that I had, you know, all, you know, between uh, them and then other people that we knew that had, re we had responded poorly to our relationship, that maybe part of me wanting to transition had to do with that. Even though I knew that that wasn't the reason, there was this little voice kind of in the back of my head um, that was a, like, society's voice telling me that, you know, asking me if I was just giving in to that pressure. Um, and I also knew, though, I mean, which didn't make any sense because I also knew that they would be even less happy with me uh, being a trans guy. Uh, over time, it's gotten to a point where I'm on speaking terms with her mother, and um, her father has spoken to me maybe twice. I know at least once, really, really recently. Um, I'm not enough. I'm really on speaking terms with him. I mean, I try to be, but um, we had some kind of ugly instances in the past, so um, nothing that was her fault or really my fault, but whatever. So. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, she told them recently, uh, within the last couple of months, uh, yeah, within the last couple of months, um, about me identifying as male, and, uh, her parents both reacted uh, in the very sa similar way that they reacted when they found out that we were in a relationship, um, kind of with a mixture of disgust and hate, again, um, and all of that, uh, not as, not as, not quite as strong as before, but still upset, um, and I think, you know, time will help. I think over time they actually will be happy that they'll be able to introduce me to her extended family as a boy because her extended family still does not know that she's in a relationship. Um, so, like, there are good things about it, um, you know, that I, about coming out and about, you know, hopefully they won't, like, out me as trans to those people because they really value their relationships with them, so hopefully... Um, and they've accused her in the past of, like, not being able, or, you know, need, like, needing to not be a part of the family because of her relationship with me. So hopefully they'll be able to see it as a good thing that, you know, once I've physically transitioned more, that, um, you know, that won't be a concern. Um, and, you know, it's, it can be difficult, I mean, especially, uh, if you've, you know, you parents that are already unsupportive of, of you, you know, if you are in a relationship with someone before you come out as your you know, as whatever gender you actually are, identify as. Um, it can be tough, especially if they didn't approve of that, or even if they just, you know, they approve of that, but not trans people. Um, and just time, like, it can suck. It can suck like nobody's business, but you just have to give it time, and you have to just know that, you know, no matter what people are saying or accusing you of or anything, you know, your partner is choosing to be in a relationship with you. Um, they're choosing, you're choosing to be in a relationship with them, you love them, you care about them, and that that's what matters. Um, and that to be your, you know, to be in an honest relationship, you need to be yourself, no matter what people's parents say. And to be, you know, to have a quality relationship with them and be fair to them, you need to be yourself. 
um, you know, hiding it um, isn't going to help. Uh, as far as coming out, you know, if you're stealth with somebody's parents and you know they'd be really unaccepting, that's really tough too. Uh, you know, d between your identity and your partner's identity and what your partner, your partner's relationship with them and all of that, I mean, that's something that you guys have to come to a, a, a sorry, a, a sort of you know, consensus on. Be fast. Her <laughs> funny things about that to make it less depressing. Um, her dad actually really uh, early on, and her mom, both apparently, even though they seemed shocked to know they were in a relationship, both apparently knew that I was gay, and um, also made a lot of comments about me asking, acting really masculine, and not about like my sexual preference or anything, just about me not being necessarily super like a lesbian, but just that I acted weirdly masculine, and they could tell that I, you know felt very male and all of that, which they're not that perceptive, but I guess they saw that, so whatever. Um, and her dad at one point, about a year ago, <laughs> like at family dinner, because this is the kind of thing they say, um, or that he sometimes says, was said, uh, that girl has more testosterone than I do, and then apparently spilled some sort of staining sauce all over himself, and then someone was like, yeah, karma's a bitch, and um, so that was an interesting uh, conversation there. Um, but yeah, so they kind of, I mean, like, it can't be surprising to them, and they kind of, like, even though they didn't want to have anything to do with any of the queerness <laughs> that surrounds me, apparently, uh, in our relationship, they kind of knew, so uh, that was, that was the funny part. Uh, yeah, so, I hope you all had a really great week to first week of the new year, and, uh, check in with you guys later. Cheers.